you're looking at this twin-engine cargo plane crashing into Brian Croto's backyard around 7.30 this morning. Okay, don't move, buddy. I had gotten up into the plane at one point to check to see if he was okay, see if we could get him out. Was he talking to you? He was mumbling. Uh, he was pretty pinned up against his, his uh, controls, and the, the plane was kind of smushed around him. In fact, Brian was the first to get to the pilot, who had called 911 from his own cockpit after the crash. He was probably... 70 feet from a residence, a single family residence, um, right on where the lawn of this residence met the tree line of the woods. So it was very, very close. The plane had 250 gallons of jet fuel on board and the aircraft did not explode on impact. Why there was no fire, I, I do not know that for, for a scientific fact, um, but I think it was, as we said several times today, uh, the pilot's lucky day. The plane had taken off from Manchester Boston Airport, a package delivery flight headed for Presque Isle, Maine. But shortly after takeoff, he was looking for a place to land near the airport and had limited contact with the tower. We can send 46 Boston approach identity to this. It was miraculous that he survived during the crash, you know, um, you know, coming down from that, that high, you know, from the sky. Back live now, those lights you see are environmental crews that are here to clean up that 250 gallons of jet fuel. The next big job will be to try to get that fuselage out of this neighborhood. But it was a very lucky day for many here.